Jay had no recollection of a hotter January than this Australian afternoon. He sat by the reflecting pond watching the swans glide slowly over the refreshing, cool water. He looked down at the assigned book for history class, wondering why they were studying what seemed to him pure fiction. The heat made him feel quite groggy, so Jay sat staring into the water's shadows and lights, its ripple distortions of line, its gentle capture of color into insistent movements, and lowered his head as do the swans, staring into the water, dipping further and further into its incomprehensible patterns. The verdict was reached at the most orange-red part of late afternoon. All the letters of the alphabet were shamed and severely sentenced, as were the host of digits and punctuation marks. The letters became so sad and ill that they could no longer hold their ink. The woman rubbed her eyes in disbelief. The writing on the page she was reading simply disappeared. The page was blank. She turned the next page and the next, then flipped wildly through the book, page after page after page after page. Nothing. Her husband downstairs on the computer watched as his word document went blank. All throughout the town of La Città Perduta, the same was occurring. In every corner of the city, people were furiously packing their belongings, frightened by the vanishing alphabet. Giovanna, like so many other mothers, nervously gathered the family's essentials into bags and cases. People fled toward the docks to escape the unknown. With every boat departed, the city became more quiet than the deepest midnight. There came a family of Pied Pipers who would lead the unfavored populace from their dark corners into a city that was now theirs. As the new day awoke, the Pied Pipers played their flutes, leading the people into the city, blossoming in celebration.
many once homeless, the people were now free to live both inside and outside of their doors. When one speaks of the past, they may act it out, for all the world's a stage. Turn up the lights. Together at the University of Lachita Perbuta, the voices of every species rose heavenward. The sweet life was at the sugar factory. Ah, 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 ah. 
When an alphabet continues to vanish, in what form might learning take? At La Città Perduta, the schools draw on the ancient techniques of memorization by way of singing and storytelling. The schools themselves become giant musical instruments, which are played and heard throughout their entire neighborhoods. <laughs>